Well, it was a bad week to be a Pittsburgh Steelers fan again, as the Steelers went down in defeat again for Week 4. Week 4, the Steelers played at Houston, played the Texans, and the Texans won 17-10, to as I am sure a lot of you um, Pittsburghers already know. Now, the score might have said 17-10, to but in my opinion, it should have been and definitely could have been a lot worse than what it was. So, I mean, I guess if there is anything that Pittsburgh Steelers fans should be thankful for, it is that the scoreboard itself didn't look embarrassing for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But their play sure was embarrassing, and that's what we're going to be talking about here today. Now, there, in my opinion, there are a lot of problems. But first, Mike Tomlin had a press conference today. And just so you know, Ben Roethlisberger has a sprained foot. Now, originally it was thought to be broken because he was walking around in, in one of those um, um, medical boot things but in, in crutches when he was leaving Houston. But it is only sprained, and therefore his status is still unknown, but many expect him to be able to play this game versus Tennessee this weekend. However, it should be a concern that he is injured the way he is, and it also should be a concern why he's getting injured, which we're going to talk about here in a minute. Now, also, on what didn't look to be much on the instant replay, turned out to be a pretty serious injury for James Harrison. Um, he has problems up in his face area. Um, he has he has a broken bone up up in that area near his eye, and part of his I think part of his eye socket was 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 affected by that, according to what Mike Tomlin said. And he is going to be out for several weeks. Now, this is very bad news because James Harrison is one of the leading defensive players. And for him to go out in what is already a very, very pathetic and poor defense, which we will also get to in a minute, definitely should bring concern to Pittsburgh Steelers fans. This is definitely a concern to me. Now, I hate to say it, but again, week four, Pitts, the Steelers stunk. And, and now that you have all those injuries, Ben Roethlisberger, Richard Mendenhall, um, James Harrison, all those injuries, it is just a very, very bad sign for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And a 2-2 two and two team, very disappointing, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, technically, against um, I could, I mean, technically, I could see them being 2-2, two and two, but the way they're 2-2 two and two really should be concerning to everybody in this room because it is really, uh, I mean, it's, it, 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 it really looks bad right now for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It, it really does. Now, okay, now first off, let's start the offense. The, the, the offensive line is absolutely terrible. I've never seen anything as bad as this line. And it's shocking, too, because in the games like against the Jets and against even the Ravens and in the playoffs last year, and even in the Super Bowl against the Packers, the offensive line was actually not that bad. Okay, and this was even, um, and, and Pouncey was even out most of the Jets game and the Packers game. But the offensive line was still not that bad. It, it looked like that it might just be improving enough to actually, to, to actually, that would be taking a step forward there. And we can get back to some fundamentals on the, on the Pittsburgh offense. However, the offensive line has just taken so many steps back. And even in the preseason, I mean, it was, I mean, it, it, it struggled at times, but it still looked better than what it did at the start of last year and the year before that and the year before that and so on. I mean, this line is terrible, I, and I'm really shocked. I mean, everyone is getting pushed on that line, and, and even some people like, I mean, I mean, I mean I've even heard this on, on, on KDK, even Pouncey is, is struggling. And I've noticed that too. I mean, they are just getting beat everywhere on the left side, the center, and the in in the right side, in the in the left side. They are all getting beat up front. They are getting pushed around, and defenses are just are just having their way with them. And part of the problem, I mean, and and that's why Ben is always on his back. And I, and I think that's also why the Pittsburgh Steelers have had no running game. 
they haven't. I mean, it, it, it is really astonishing to see this running. I mean, I mean, the Steelers, I mean, if you remember what Steeler football is all about, about <clears throat> um, when the Steelers just started to get good and we, and, and, and the Pittsburgh Steeler polka was, was singing in everyone's head. The thing we did was we took, we took Franco Harris and we took Rocky Blyer and we, and, and we, and we punished him and even Jerome Bettis. We punished him up the gut and we punished, and we just punished him. We just ran the football and we just, and we just wore out opposing defensive play, uh, of teams and, and, and we passed the very bare minimum and we controlled the line of scrimmage on the offensive side of the ball and we end up winning the football game. Now you don't even see that. Now people are getting pushed pu or, or pushing on us and it is definitely not indicative of Steeler football. Now we're throwing it 30 times, 40 times. I mean, that is just too much. I mean, I mean, even if even if Roethlisberger is good, and, and I think um, um, he he put his heart out on, on the line yet, uh, um, Sunday. I don't, I, I think Roethlisberger sucked week three, but I think week four, um, he wasn't the problem. I think the problem was we couldn't run the football with Mendenhall because Mendenhall continues to dance, okay? And and and, and here's the thing, too, because Redmond was running the football pretty effectively um, when he did get the ball. I mean, he... I forget how many yards he had, but he... But I was seeing him hit the holes and 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 catch the holes. Don't Doesn't dance around, doesn't do any of that nonsense that you see Mendenhall doing. Mendenhall did that week three, and he did that week four. And the fact that, that he just isn't hitting the holes, I don't know what it is. I mean, perhaps maybe he should go back to fundamentals in, um, f uh, instead of writing Twitter posts of, um, apologizing to Osama bin Laden and all the nonsense he did off, off the off season. Perhaps that's what he should do because, because he has really Dunk. He has had some bad games this year, and and it it's just really showing and really indicative of that right now. And I don't know what the solution is, but but he needs to he needs to hit the holes hard, and, and he needs to be coached to do that. And he needs to stop being on Twitter and, and posting um, t um, controversial comments about Osama bin Laden and 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 bring up the 9-11 conspiracy crap, which he did. Because that's just, I mean, because I think that's taken off, and I think that's definitely um, um, hurting him, or, or it could be hurting him anyway. But, but, it, but yeah, he is not having a good rough of it now, and, 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 and Redmond is, so, so he's, or Isaac Redmond is looking good. I, I might have said Chris earlier, I'm sorry about that. But Isaac Redmond is doing pretty good right now, and, and, and he's probably going to start now because Mendenhall has a hamstring injury. So maybe we can actually get back to running the football. And then maybe, and, and, and I have a feeling that if Redmond does good during Mendenhall's outage, then Mendenhall is going to be on a short leash here in Pittsburgh. And I think this might be the last, year's, last year you see him. I'm going to say it here first. I, I think this could be Mendenhall's last year. If Redmond proves to be the answer, to the Pittsburgh Steelers running attack. Now, like I said, the um, the, the the receivers not having a bad. I, mean, I think the receivers are all right, but they're not producing. And, I, and part of that's Ben, and part of that's the offensive line. The offensive line, is, like I said, just sucks to high hell, and I don't know why either. Because like I said. You know, it's getting better. You saw it in the playoffs last year. You saw it in the Super Bowl. You saw it in the preseason. It looked like it was getting better. And then all of a sudden, it just really took a step back. And I just don't understand that. And I think it's very disappointing. And if I was the Steeler fans all, all around the country, I would be panicking right now because, because this is really digressing. And this team is falling apart. And like I said, we we have just lost the Super Bowl, and we've seen this with many other teams. I think it's going to be a rough stretch going going on into the future for the Pittsburgh Steelers unless they start doing what they're supposed to supposed to do. And also, Bruce Arians, why in the hell is he still there? And it seems like every single year, the fans overwhelmingly call these um, stations and say, "Fire Bruce Arians." And of course, Art Rooney the second. 
and Kevin Colbert, to uh, who make up probably the worst front office in all of football right now, are just not listening. And that's why they are the worst people, the worst front office in football right now. The worst. Okay, there is not a single team that is any worse than he is. And even even um, Paul even Paul Brown or Mike Brown, I, Mike Brown in Cincinnati is not as bad as as Art Rooney the second is. He is a disgrace. And and now um, anyway off that rant defensively again terrible. I mean I I mean the first drive of the game, the Texans committed four penalties four penalties that that in most um, in in most years would have killed them against the would have killed any team against the Steelers. I mean, but but yet they overcame all four penalties and went 96 yards for a touchdown on the first drive, 19 plays, and they just ate the clock like you could never believe. And it's just I mean, this I there's no other way to say it. This defense is soft. Okay, now the secondary, okay, they might look a little bit better, but you know why they look a little bit better? Because you have the defensive line getting blown off the ball. I mean, these these teams are now coming in here. You saw it week one with Ray Rice. You saw it week three with Joseph Adai. You saw this week four with Arian Foster. They are running the football. Teams are running the football on the Steelers, and now the game plan for these teams is, Guess what? We are running the football on you, and we're going to keep doing it until you can prove you can stop it. And that is really, really concerning to me, because coming into this year, I thought it was actually going to be the the secondary that was going to suck. I never imagined that we would have problems stopping the run. I mean, that is why I spent all of my offseason criticizing the Cameron Haywood draft pick, but now all of a sudden, we just might need him because these people are just not getting it done. Aaron Smith, I think he's done. I, th I, th I really do. I'm sorry to say that. I think he is done. 35 years old, he has been blown off the ball too much. I mean, he's, he's just old. He's he, he's he's washed up. And then you have, and, and part of that's injuries, I, I understand, but still, he's washed up. Casey Hampton, washed up. I mean, they can't get any push. And, and why is it taking so long for some of these people to be did draft, like Ziggy Hood? What year is this? Like third year, fourth year as a Steeler, and, 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 and he's still not starting? I mean, I mean, and he's, and I and when he is out on the field, you don't hear much about him. I mean, it's despicable. So now, yeah, it looks like we might need Ziggy Hood. It might we might need Cameron Haywood now because they can't stop the run. I mean, I I never seen anything like this. The Steelers have always stopped the run. Sure, there's been some stuff even in the past ten years when we went to Super Bowls. There's been stuff inconsistent on the offensive side of the ball, but on the defense. No one runs on us. No one. No one has been able to get 100 yards on us. I mean, it's like 20, we go 20, 30 um, straight game runs where we don't allow a running back over 100 yards. I mean, it is just astonishing how bad this defense is. We already allowed 200, uh, two 100-yard games. I mean, I mean, that's, and this is why Steeler fans here should be panicking because this is bad. This is really pathetic right now and and I don't know if it's age like I said I think for Smith it is I think age and injuries but for the others I don't know what it is I mean I mean where is Lamar Woodley where in the hell is this guy he just signed a big deal and yet he has not done anything on this defensive side of the ball nothing so anyway I mean the defense sucks the offense mostly sucks and that is why the Steelers suck at two and two. And we're gonna play Tennessee next who has won three straight. They're three and one. So I wish the Steelers nothing but the best because they are gonna need every ounce of it. Anyway, thank you for watching this. I will hopefully get some videos uploaded here soon on WDVE.